You can't flush fracking wastewater down the drain, so millions of barrels of it are coming right here to Ohio. We're putting it exactly where the federal government says to put it, down deep injection wells. This is the uh, DEFCO number one injection well. Don Krieger manages one of nearly 180 disposal or injection wells in Ohio. They are used to hold the waste from oil and gas drilling, where fracking is often used to break apart shale. The so-called brine is injected thousands of feet into the earth at intense pressures. How much have you seen business increase? About 50 percent, probably. In what? In the last year and a half. Just to give you some perspective, there are about 144,000 disposal wells just like this one all across the United States. And with the fracking boom, there's a whole lot more waste to deal with. How much of the waste you accept here is coming from out, out of state? I'd say about uh, one third of it is out of state. It's coming from places like Pennsylvania, where there are not nearly enough wells to hold the waste. Last year, more than 5 million barrels of fracking waste came into Ohio from out of state. Why is it good for the west side of Youngstown to inject all that filth and all that garbage like a septic tank, and that's okay? This is all actually new, fresh cracks. Uh, Fueling that anger, a series of 11 earthquakes in Youngstown since March, which scientists have linked to a local disposal well. Why become the dumping ground of the entire United States? The dumping ground. You betcha, it is a dumping ground. How can you be against it? You know what I mean? It's not like we're taking in trash. It's not technically trash. It's salt water and a small amount of chemicals. And it brings much needed money. Is it a good thing for Ohio? I'm sure my members who are operating these wells are enjoying an economic stream from that. Uh, business is business. Krieger's company charges three bucks a barrel for out of state waste. How much drilling wastewater is being pumped deep into the earth here? 2,000 barrels a day, approximately. And since Ohio started charging companies to truck in their waste a little over a year ago, the state has made roughly a million bucks from it. I'm definitely in favor of, of the fracking. The disposal is a byproduct. That needs to be dealt with safely, environmentally, and I think the residents, once they are educated, won't have a problem with this. Ohio issued more disposal well permits last year than ever before by a long shot. I think so many of the decisions in our country today really pit a short-term economic development against long-term environmental hazards or environmental quality, quality of life issues, and this is just another one of those. But the industry and the state insist this is the safest way to bury the waste, and that will keep these trucks rolling in and out of the Buckeye State. In Youngstown, Ohio, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.